Hey guys, it's Paul. I am going to give you a f quick introduction. No, this not start the video I'm doing today. I, I am going to launch a free training school um, on Teachable. Teachable have changed their pricing back. And we are back to as it was brilliantly before. The free version has unlimited students, unlimited coaching, uh, courses, unlimited coaching and product dump bundles, uh, it is free. So I have got a coffee, I have got my dog here wanting to play with his ball with me, so I'm going to show you just how easy it is to launch your free training school. So if you're a professional coach or even any kind of coach, uh, you've got some training services you want to give away, you're a business that want to train your customers or you want to train your staff, um, or any kind of maybe a YouTuber like me and you want to put some videos in a training course anything to boost your brand to get people into your business to give them a better experience uh, and and to stop having to answer all them frequently asked questions when people sign up for something here go to this free training course everything's answered there and it is completely free with Teachable so to sign up pnuk.com forward slash teachable and you'll see there's a discount code here if you go to a paid version later come back and check that out uh, and maybe ch keep checking this page because there may be some more discounts coming down the line there is free training but of course you're going to sign up here with teachable free sign up and click there uh, and click sign up for free which will take you to uh, teachable's sign up page via my partner link so Teachable knows it came from me and we're going to sign up and get started. Right, so let's start. Start for free. Here we go. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, full name. Paul Nicholson. We are going to do 2021 at paulnicholson.com. If you want to message me, don't message me um, at paulnicholson.com. Well, let's go here. Don't e don't message me at that email. Uh, Paul at pnuk.com if you want to email me. So, uh, name, email address, create an account. Name of your school. So, whatever you want it to be called uh, when you sign up. Paul Nicholson's training school. Training, training. The dog's kicking his bed about. And we are in. You could, There's some information to share if you want to. Uh, type of business, full-time, part-time. Uh, I created this account for my employer. So I am a full-time coach or tutor, content creator. Let's go coach or tutor. Which topic is most relevant to your business? Oh, my God. Uh, d d d software and technology, business and marketing. I'll fire away that one. What category best describes your uh, your best? What's that say? What category best describes your business stage? I prefer. Yeah, screw you. Uh, are you already teaching an online course? This is just uh, if you've gotten somewhere else, they're going to ask you where. What is the size of your audience? I don't. It doesn't really matter any of these answers. They're not going to do anything different via it. Via it. Via it. And we are into our course, right? So I'll go through. I'll go through. Watch the setup guy. No, I don't need to watch that. You guys can watch that. Create a product. So we're going to go straight into creating a course, right? We've probably just got an email. Oh, I'm going to be on the confirm your email. So we might want to. We want to check to let them know that email works. And the first thing it's going to say is create a product or create a training course, right? So let's create our first training course. Uh, we're coaching you, collaborate with your students. So if you're doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can create a coaching um, product or course. Most people are here for a course. So let's create a course. Uh, da -da -da -da, let's call it Teachable Training Course. Uh, learn everything you need to know 
about Teachable. Right, create the course. And it's going to come to the curriculum, curriculum, curricula, curriculum. Not working. So you could change the section. So this might be introduction. You could change all this later. Don't worry that this is not going to be perfect first time. Welcome to Teachable is the first lesson. Right, it's in draft, so it's not published. But if I click on it now, I can jump into it. And I can add any information here. This might be add text. Welcome to my Teachable course. Uh, dive in and add questions. Of course, you might be adding here um, uh, a, a welcome video, some uh, a PDF. A quiz, maybe, maybe not at the start, but we're going to just build out, we're going to build out a course, right? So publish my course. So here now, if I go preview, I can see that the first lesson, Teachable Training Course Welcome, is here and the comment box is open and I can complete the lesson, which would complete the course. I go here for new lesson and I might go uh, Teachable. Uh, oh my god. Lesson one. How to get started. And I may at this point add a video. So if you've got a video that you want them to host, it's quite easy to do. I'm not sure if I've got anything I could... Um, you go my devices and you go and collect a video. I've probably not... Uh, Mac webcam. Yeah, we can do this one. It's just a little video. So... It, I can upload a video and it will embed it. So there's there's two ways of doing a video. If you're a YouTuber like me, uh, I generally embed my YouTube videos in the lessons so that people are watching my YouTube videos, so my YouTube videos get more views. But you could obviously um, add a a video uh, directly to your course. Sometimes it can be a better option because you can see how much of the video. Uh, you might not be able to on the free version, was watched. And you can say a certain amount of the video has got to be watched before people can move on. But I might go... Uh, I don't know if I've done a, a, a teachable video in a while. But I'll come back to that in a second when this is uploaded. It used to do it in the background. You didn't have to sit and watch it upload. You could just get cracking. I'm glad that video wasn't a very big one. But it will be uploaded in a second. Slurp me coffee, sorry. Uh, da, da, da. I could do with a PDF, couldn't I? I don't know if I've got any PDFs I can um, upload that aren't invoices. So this, this little video has been uploaded. It'll then process the video. So it does take a little bit, but you might add a bit of text. Uh, in this lesson, I teach you how to change the settings on the cam video it doesn't make any sense because i'm obviously just ripping a i'm just trying to explain what that video was turn the comments on or off again it's up to you publish that um lesson so now we've got two lessons the second lesson hey guys it's paul i want to do a quick video for anybody who's just probably googled so the video is now embedded. So now we've got two lessons. The webcam oh. settings app. Easy, Papa. If I wanted to create a lesson like I do, and I, and I recommend this for YouTubers, uh, lesson two, embed YouTube video. So what I do with my lessons is I will go here, say to this video, I will click share, embed, grab this code, and add custom code. Paste in that code. Uh, add the text, which is sometimes the uh, actual video description. 
Teachable tends to uh, do the spacing a bit crap when I do this. It puts big gaps between it, but I'm not sure how to get rid of that. Uh, so I add the text to the video and I publish. So now I have a lesson where we have the embedded YouTube video. Hey guys, it's Paul here. We have the description of the timestamps and again, the discussion. Uh, let's do a PDF. For, so if you've got a document that they need to read, uh, PDF add. I don't know if I've got any PDFs that I can share, right? Uh, I'll go to my device, my my device here. Oh, select a file, uh, PDF. This Mac. Uh, transaction history. I can't really share anything. Dream Team PDF, the Masters trip, road trip. Uh, da -da -da -da, comp comp info. Oh no. But let's just go with this. So this is a course certification PDF. So you would upload your PDF. Um, and you can actually click here. Look, allow them to. Um, you can you can get rid of the embed. And let them to download it or you can turn download off. So if you want them to download it, you click that little cloud button. So now the PDF of that. Um, yeah, it's, it's probably not a good PDF to share that. But they can then download the PDF here as well. So if you've got a PDF training document, um, so I download ones, see, e learn, PDF docs, is anything on here? Enable contact us. Uh, yeah, I haven't got anything. I should have, I should have, um, I should have been better prepared, sorry. But you can see that you embed your your um, the PDF is embedded, and if you just if you don't want them to download it, you tick this off. If you just want it to be a download link and not an embed, you turn the embed off. So now it's just a download link. So you can do multiples if you've got like five or six customer um, documents you want to uh, do, and that's you know. So we've built out two or three lessons. So down the bottom here it says add price. You can leave because it is saved. Add pricing. Obviously, four options. Free says for itself. One-time purchase. It's just a one-off payment. A payment plan. So, say it's a two hundred pound course. Uh, you want to split it over three payments. You might say it's 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 two hundred pound for a one-time course, or it's it's three seventy pounds. So you're gonna pay a bit more. Or a subscription. It's a membership. It's pay monthly, pay annually, uh, probably pay quarterly. But let's just make it free. Uh, call it free. You can put information there if you want. Publish a course. You can add a thumbnail to your course down here. This will help with uh, when you go to um, share it or anything like that. So let's just do that. Copy. Copy, so add your thumbnail. So say this would be free training course for whatever. And you've got the option to duplicate that and delete it and everything. So now when people go to here, they go to your sales page, you see a, uh, oh, you've got to edit your sales page now. It, this doesn't do this in mine. What you want to go to is Go to pages here, and then you're going to see sales page. So then you go here, and you're going to click edit. And it's built out the sales page for you, where you can go over to the side and edit it as you like. So this is obviously the banner. So you can change the image, uh, web images. Let's say it's, uh, I don't know if Teachable is going to do anything on a web search. Teachable, you can add, uh, be teachable, should we use that? Upload. That's going to change that. Select the button. Example banner. Uh, teachable. Training course. Yeah, the background image is not great for this, is it? The subtitle. Learn everything you need. 
to know about teachable show the button show the action go to checkout page uh which checkout page the free one set a book an action uh start uh, your or uh, i don't know what you put on it join now it's free something like that come down and edit these blocks so you can move these around so if you don't want it to be too much you can just bang the course curriculum at the top there i don't know why it says example curriculum that on my version it doesn't do this because it, it, it's the old builder that's why it's a little bit different to me this is a lot more easier to do and if you just want to smash out a course for your com customers and they know what they're coming for learn about this product learn about so-and-so product um you may get rid of a lot of these uh items pricing you may put pricing further up oh so if you've got more than one pricing option you might want to put that further up so then yeah when there's only one pricing block it won't show if it's free image with text let's get rid of this uh, da -da. let's get rid of this you can tinker with it, text with item grids. There's loads of different ways of setting things up. Let's get rid of this. There used to be um There used to be an author box. Right, featured products. Let's go here, add about the author. Where's about the author gone? Maybe you do that in an image box now. You don't actually do it um You don't actually do it. There isn't an actual function that just shows about the author, which to be fair, I deleted most of the time anyway. So there's different ways of doing it. You can add a button. Uh, go to checkout page again. Oh. Sign up now. I'm just going to go and change that header. Image, replace it. Um, Dropbox custom sources. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Learning. Maybe I could do with like a um, teaching thing. Maybe lifelong magical. Well, let's use this. You get the point. You're gonna find a decent um, background image. There you go. Uh, d -d 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 -d. Can we make it darker? Design. Border padding content. Subheading, image opacity. Oh, that makes it brighter. Image color. All right, all right. Is that going to do anything? Uh, header text, alignment, border. Yeah, that's all right. So it isn't a great example. Should I change it to something else? Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, let's just get rid of the bloody t the bl the bat box, right? Uh, design. I don't understand this opacity here because it's oh there you go oh no. Oh right, what oh it goes darker that way oh man. Should I go back with the other one now? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. What did I teach? Sorry, learning did I teach? <laughs> I don't do mine this way because it, 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 I've got, I must have the older version of the site builder. But anyway, you're getting the point, and it's good to just sort of tinker around. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. So you can make this a little bit brighter. Right. So you can until you can see it. So let's go. Maybe there. Update it, and our course is ready to go. Right. So. Right. The dog now is asleep and bored. I think he knows I'm doing a video. He's getting no time. Uh, so we're going to go back to the... Let's close a lot of things I've got open. We're going to go uh, view the sales page. Here's the sales page now. So it's teachable. Training for free. Uh, and our page, the course is closed for enrollment. So we need to uh, publish the course information. 
category. Oh no, I tell you why. It's because we probably haven't done everything to open our school yet. So next part. Let's go to this site. Uh, da, da, da. Logo and branding. So we need to add some info to our school. So if you've got a logo, you can add it here. Let's go here. Let's go um, font logos. Let's go with a black one. That's going to add the logo to the header. School thumbnail. If you've got one, create a thumbnail so that when people share your homepage, it uh, shares across multiple devices. A little thumbnail. Your favicons, the little square in the corner. Uh, I'm going to go to here and use my little square punk one. Font family. If you want to change the, the branding colors, you can. So you can go to this. Blue, white, red, you can change, you can mess around with all the colors in the settings. We're going to save it. You can, you can change the font. Let's have a look at the, yeah, so that's our logo at the top. That's our favicon. And if it was shared, it would um, show as well. We're going to go back to settings. Your business name. So we're going to go to settings, add our business name. I'll write in this punk limited. Heading of your uh, heading of your homepage is going to come up. Um, uh, Paul Nicholson online business training. Uh, teaching you online business. I am not good with words. Quickly change your information if you want. Add a recapture. So this is this will stop spammers. You know when you get like a little box saying type in these these numbers. Anonymize IPs for Google Analytics. If your privacy policy, local privacy policy, prevent you from storage of IP addresses, you can anonymize. So you might want to turn that on for GDPR and things like that. Prevent payment plan cancell cancellation. So if you don't want people to just be able to sign up and then dump off your payment plans. Before they finished, take that. Uh, so that will now here look. Oh, see again, this has changed from what it does on mine. Homepage title. So we have to. We're gonna have to edit the homepage. Okay. Right. Let's do a quick important step. What you'll see at the moment is the the actual domain name at the top is Paul Paul Dash Nicholson's. Dash s dash training on dash school dot teachable dot com. This is what you're going to share with people. So we're going to share the homepage of the training site. So we want to change the domain to be a little bit more friendly, right? So if you go here to site, and then you go here to domains. On the free version, you can't use your own domain. That's part of having to upgrade. But we can make it a little bit um, friendly, right? So it might change it to um, your Instagram handle, your Twitter handle, your just something that makes sense. So I might just call it uh, Paul Nicholson. I probably don't know if that'll allow me to be Paul Nicholson dot teachable. Yeah, because I've probably done it before. Might be Paul Nicholson UK. Um, it might be your business name. So it might be. Uh, Let's call it PNUK21. Uh, it's not liking it, is it? Did it actually upgrade one of them? Oh, it took all of those ones that I typed in, right? So uh, I'm going to delete these ones. So it said it didn't work. But now... Now my training course is going to be at pnuk21.teachable.com. So rather than it be what we typed in to begin with, the name of the uh, the training, we are here at pnuk pnuk21.teachable.com. I can delete this as well. All right, that's going to actually kick me out, I would think. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. So now this is our new name. And I'm going to go to PNUK21 Teachable. 
This school isn't published. I know I'm signed in. Tell me I haven't just, there we go, log in. So I'm going to log in to, what was it? Uh, PAUK21. Uh, it was 2021. So yeah, I, I probably should have gone a bit slower with that because um, it is a little bit, be, be careful before you do that. So now you will see at the top of my page that it is pnuk21.teachable.com. And we are now uh, a little bit closer. Right, so let's just go edit our home page. So we're going to go here to pages. We're going to go home page. And we're going to edit it. And it's going to open up that banner again. So we can change this to... Um... Oh, not the alt text. You want to change this. You can put alt text in for the image if you want. Paul Nicholson training. It used to automatically take this from that other information on the school. But now... I guess enough people said enough people probably didn't know how to edit that so they wanted it they wanted the um, the freedom to um edit anything themselves learn about online business right show a button set a button button action button action there isn't any obvious ones uh, sign up now and then you might change this to um, yeah PNUK this is still the wrong URL right ay, ay, ay. Uh, PNUK 21 sign up we might put here a description YouTube online business Training for you and your team. Hundred percent free training. This sounds like a promotional video now. Uh, delete block. No. You can add em uh, images here. You can edit these other blocks. Uh, this is probably what you want. Da, 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 da. Featured courses. We might bump that up to the text. We're going to get rid of these if you don't want them. We're going to add things you want and don't want. Email for leads. It's probably an email capture form, isn't it? Yeah, let's keep in touch. We'll leave that on. All right. Add a new block. What else have we got here? Images, text, video, email. You might have a welcome video you want to put in there. Image with text, banner, text to women. Mean, okay. So we're all right with that. We're going to publish that. We're going to change this. Example product, courses, coaching, bundles. All right. We're going to put that one in. So you can, on your featured courses, you can put your favorite, biggest favorite ones in. Favorite biggest ones. Is that even English, Paul? You can choose which courses and which order you want them to be in. This is another cool feature that's just come out. Because before, they would just show the three newest or the three highest rate. Um, um, in your course catalog, it would be the three at the top would show, or the six at the top or the nine at the top. Whereas this way, you can actually pick which ones you want to show. So uh, we're going to do that. We are pretty much happy. And now... It used to pop up and say, you haven't done this, you haven't done that. If you want to change the terms of use of the privacy policy, you can. Um, so the final thing we've got to do, it used, like I said, it used to have a little um, drop down of, of do this, do this, do this. But take our school online. We have a course, right? If we go here, uh, da -da -da. we have a course. We go here. We have a course to sell. Join now. It's free. Because you're signed in, it'll automatically just work. Uh, this is a thank you page. All oh, right. So we've got to edit the thank you page. They didn't have to used to do that. It used to be a generic one. They do. They have made it a little bit longer-winded to do, but obviously people have been asking for um, 
that feature. So I've signed up. So go to your courses. Uh, your courses. Oh my God. Courses uh, are here. Go to training. Go to pages. Go to thank you page. And edit it. Again, a lot. There's there's a lot of people punting upsells, and and when people come in, sign them on another course, sign them in, give them a fifty percent off the next course. So that's why they've made this um, upsell look. This is probably why they've they've added these kind of features. Before it was just a thank you page you didn't have to tinker with. Uh, thanks for signing. Uh, signing up. Let's get started. Okay. Design. Probably wants to be in the middle, doesn't it? Yeah. The button. Uh, go to course curriculum. Start your course. And there's probably people wanting um, to send people to different places, not than the first lesson is to, to maybe a welcome page that's got more information and, and stuff like that. But for me, just fire us straight in the course. Thank you, page. But a basic one you can edit later. But hey, it's cool. It's cool. So now we've done it. We've done that. If you've got payment page, if, you, if you've got payment options, you would need to tinker with your checkout page as well. But now, what we're going to do is take the course online. So I'm going to go here to settings, which takes me to general settings, I think. And then all the way down the bottom, take my course online. Launch the course. And here we go. If I now go to pnuk21.teachable.com. Our course is live to the world. I use a different browser. And we can sign up. We can have a browser around. We can sign up for the newsletter. We're going to sign up for this course. Join now. It's free. It's going to take me to the Teachable page, which I will do test 1244. Oh, no. That's not my name. Uh, 12.44, put in my password, I'll remember. I agree, I agree, I might have typed them in different. Yeah, I did, bloody hell. You know, you can just tell you've just accidentally clipped another key. Sign up. Here we go, we're going to go to our thank you page. Thanks for signing up, start your course. Take us into the first lesson. Uh enroll in the course uh, oh. I have enrolled in the course do I have to verify my account now ah this may be another new feature so you're going to get the emails here's the emails Paul Nicholson uh, just enrolled in a teachable training so that's come to the, to the coach access the course so yes here's confirm your account People would just click this, but I'm going to copy the link because I'm on a different browser than my default one. So I have to verify my email, which is probably a good thing. Now when I go here, does it let me in? Yes. So you have to verify your email before it lets you in the course. We're going to complete the course. Oops, spelt that wrong. Here's the video. Look, can play the video. Hey guys, it's Paul. I can leave a comment. can complete that lesson I can watch the YouTube video complete the course and complete and I've signed up a training course completed the lesson uh, all good all right guys so you have now got a full free training course posted to your site Share it. You can now share it with your customers. So if you go to the home page, if I do it as logged out, uh, preview as student. Uh, you can now. 
It's always a bit funky trying to view the course. If you've logged in, my products, all products. Yeah, Teachable, it's, it's, here we go, there's that button there. I want to show the sales page, but when you've already bought the course, you can't see the sales page easily. Um, you have to go. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, preview as student, yeah. There isn't, there isn't a preview as logged out viewer, so it's a bit funkier, but you've now got a, a, um, a training platform and a training course that you can now go to your courses. If this is some sort of uh, one-off for a customer, you can make it private so it doesn't show. Uh, so you basically unpublish the course, but it is still there. Uh, so if you've got a specific customer training, unpublish the course, it'll go private. You send the course link to the customer, they can still sign up. And then if you wanted to duplicate that for another course, you just duplicate the course. So you've got another one. So if you've got training lessons one, training lessons two, you can create course bundles. So they can go to a bundle here, create a bundle, uh, training bundle. So you could sell all the courses together. No content yet. Bundle content. Uh, Uh, select course, sorry. So then I can select both of these courses and say this this core that this trainings for you. So if you're selling um, a premium package where they get five courses, you can put them all into a training bundle. Now I'm flying through all this. You can price your bundle, obviously, discounted price. I'm going to go slower in more training, and I will put a training course together to get you through all of this in your own time i've purposely done an absolute 100 mile an hour youtube video to show you how easy it is to get launched to get started uh, i know i've flown through it right i haven't shown you every feature i haven't shown you the coaching side where you can create new coaching course for one-on-one -on -one coaching i haven't showed you the email side where you can uh oh you can't on the free version you can't actually email all the students. I haven't showed you pricing options when you start charging for your stuff. What I've shown you is a free uh, training website where you can sign up courses. I haven't shown the navigation or stuff like that, but I've just shown you how to launch a training course for free on Teachable in just over 30 minutes. Uh, oh, that, that I would have to change the settings. It's going to be bright, is it? Yes, you've got to you've got to um, slow down and take your time. I just wanted to show again because Teachable is free, um, and it's now free for only they had a spell of only only four or five courses, and only ten students were allowed to sign up. They've racked that off. They've binned it off and gone back to unlimited courses, unlimited coaching. Unlimited bundles, unlimited students. It's a great deal and a great way to teach your staff, your customers, everybody um, uh, that you need to teach. You can teach people for free. You can share your expertise. Um, share information between your club members. Whatever you might be, it's all for free. And if you go to pnuk.com, forward slash teachable you will see uh, the links to sign up for free you will see uh, some training videos you will see my discount code if you want to sign up for the pro version um, if you put in PNUK 50 you get the first two months 50% off you will see I've got free teachable training courses so if you click on this it will take you to my quick start course which I actually do have to update because the version you're seeing is different to the version I'm seeing. Um, I preferred the old builder way, but the newer way has got more customization. You can see where my training courses, I just say it's free and then give the curriculum. Um, whereas if you're trying to sell a $500 training course, 
you're going to need to give more information than that, aren't you? So um, join me. Come and ask me questions. Ask questions in the comments. Uh, you can ask questions on um, penuk.com forward slash teachable. Down the bottom, there's a comment section. You can fire questions in there. You can click here and email me direct. It was meant to be a 100 mile an hour video, that. So I know I went too fast, but I wanted to show you how quickly you could launch a training course on Teachable. Um, so there's no real excuses that it's going to take you hours and hours and hours. Um, if you're just trying to, you know, you're forever, you're forever asking the, answering the same questions from the same customers. Here's your training course. Log in. Go see that document again, that one that I've told you about 10 times. Um, if you're still having trouble, come back to me then. Just another string to your company armory of, of coaching, isn't it? And it's completely free. The people at Teachable, the team at Teachable are great. You can jump in the help chat. There is a Facebook group for, for all the people that are signed up with Teachable. They'll help you out. Um, I use them. I use Teachable. I always use Teachable. They're excellent. Hope that helps. Any questions, fire them below. I will help the best I can.